Big news in gaming world today. I didn't want to I didn't want to touch the subject yet cuz it didn't affect me yet, but you know I always do repair videos and I always record that every time I call there to ask for a repair for whatever and when something is busted, I get really pissed and I always make these awesome videos that I actually miss doing. This is the Joy-Con drift problem. And I thought I was the only guy on the planet that didn't get it. I, I still, I own a very large Joy-Con collection. And people are like, yeah, but you have so many, you know, you play with probably different ones and uh, you probably don't have time to feel the drift. So Joy-Con drift is basically when you're not holding the controller. I've seen videos, I've seen stuff. Uh, the controller just keeps going up or down or left or right on its own, which is kind of crazy. And then people, we start seeing tweets and people in Reddit and everything and Nintendo getting an official lawsuit. So I did my investigation on my own and I went to stores. And they know what stores that I go to, I buy so many junk cons. And I asked. And they said, yeah, we do return a lot of Joy-Cons. It happens a lot. And I'm like, no way. I thought there was just propaganda to hit on Nintendo, but it's real. It is real. And I think they were getting a lawsuit over this because a lot of people are pissed. It's a very pricey controller, a pair for a hundred bucks, and they're malfunctioning like crazy. Now, a year later, now, get this, I've been playing with my same pair. I'll be honest, I, I, I play with my black ones, the ones I had since day one. Still didn't get the issue, issue. But here is the good news. If you're having a problem, Go on the Nintendo website, and I know a lot of people and a lot of subscribers and a lot of people on Instagram been messaging me what to do and where to go. Well, if they know me, they're going to watch this video or they're going to watch my Instagram post. It's pretty simple. Call 1-800-255-3700. They have one of the best customer service ever made. Still to today, back when I was a kid, back in 1989, used to call there. I was nine years old. and. They would fix my problem. They would send me a new one, a refurbished one, and whatever. But the good news is, officially today, Report Nintendo will fix broken Joy-Cons for free refund prior repairs. Now, I'll put a link to the article I'm reading right now. It's quite satisfying. It's satisfying? Following continued reports that Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons controllers are drifting, a Vice story today claims that Nintendo is instructing their its customer service representative to repair the controllers for free no questions asked and anyone who has previously paid to get one repair will now be refunded like if you paid for it previously Nintendo will reimburse you fully that's just so awesome because I think they know they have a problem luckily enough I feel safe with my collection I should be fine Speaking with a source familiar with Nintendo updated customer support documentation, device report, says the company internal documents now include the line. Listen to this one. Now that's another question I get all the time. Listen to this one. Customer will no longer be requested to provide proof of purchase for Joy-Con repairs. Additionally, it, it is not necessary to confirm warranty status. If a customer requests a refund for a previously paid Joy-Con repair, confirm the prior repair and and then issue a refund. That's that's pretty epic. Nintendo only statement on the issue was earlier this week and was simply a vague recommendation that anyone affected by the issue visits the company support website. If the changes listed in the story have indeed been made, that would indicate Nintendo has now taken the matter a lot more seriously. The Joy-Con drift is an issue where the thumbstick of the Nintendo Switch and controllers, the tech movement, and beginning to drift even when the player is not touching the controller. So that's pretty much the article. I will put a link down below, but that's good news. I'm happy because I own a lot of them. I just collect them crazy because I love the colors. It's just an addiction. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, send some love. But if you're really stuck, I suggest 
I do suggest. Calling the phone number, good old talking with somebody is always the number one way to go. So I'll repeat in phone number 1-800-255-3700. That's the number for Canada. I don't know, maybe it's US, maybe it's worldwide. But they're doing it in North America thus far. They're fixing every single Joy-Con. So if you do have, if any of my subscribers are watching this video and you do have a problem, I'd be more than happy to read your comment, comment on this video. Let me know if you're gonna get it repaired. I want comebacks, I wanna know. I wanna have a broken pair of Joy-Cons so I can experience the repair they do. I wanna know from subscribers, let me know. Because I know a lot of friends, everybody just opened up about it. Like it was a big secret. And some friends been sending me messages and everything. I want to know, subscribers and fans, uh, let me know if you had that problem. You got to get it fixed. It's free of charge. Even out of warranty, if you owned it since day one, they're going to fix it. Now, the only problem I see is people having custom-made Joy-Cons. You might want to switch back the shell to what it was, if you can, and send them in. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Might be safer. I don't know if Nintendo would, if they see custom shells. Maybe they would. Got to call customer service and ask them. But so far, I have no drift. I am drift free. But now that I said it, it's probably going to happen. Touch. Knock on wood. Should be safe. So have a good night. Love you all. And I'll see you soon.